This is going to be a sole purpose reading for those who have Pisces North Node. In Western astrology, these are the dates. If you follow Vedic astrology, these would not be the dates. You would be Aquarius. So um, I suggest that you follow both. If these are the dates of your birth, um, you'll be Pisces North Node. And um, for dates in Aries, you would also be Pisces North Node and Vedic astrology. So let's look at those dates. For Aries, um, it's where the nodes were at last year. From 2022 to 2023, if you were born on these dates, then in Vedic astrology, you'd be Pisces. So I suggest that you also uh, manifest with Pisces this year. That's where the nodes are at. That's where the eclipses will be. So it will pertain, your um, soul purpose will pertain to both Aries North Node and Pisces North Node. Today, January 17th, um, the moon is at its ascending node. This morning at 7.03 a.m., it was in Pisces. And it will be at its descending no node, which is the south node, in, in Virgo on January 31st at 1.15 p.m. or 1.17 p.m. Today is also the first quarter moon. So this has a synchronicity with the galactic dream spell calendar as well. I'm guided by my own power doubled. Red spectral moon. I had another um, synchronicity happen today, and I'm going to discuss that before we do the video. So I might make this a two-parter uh, where I just discuss a little bit about the nodes of the moon and about the synchronicity I found today. Okay, so if you do have these placements... Aries or Pisces North Node, um, please go watch my video from yesterday. I think it'll resonate. And, and my video for today um, on the Dream Spell calendar because I found that um, the card I picked for Portal Day, let me show you, was the Equanimity card, Sapphire Blue, which talked about meditative, still, silent, and going with the flow. Well, Today, I didn't even notice. I just knew it was a double day. It's about purifying, releasing, going with the flow, and water. So uh, that was a synchronicity that I didn't think about um, until today. And um, today, the or yesterday, the moon was also in Pisces. But today, it actually went into the North Node. So I was looking um, at this book, Astrology for the Soul. Is where um, it's like the first book on on the North Nodes. I think it's by Jan Spiller. I think she's she's gone now, but this is this is how I started to uh, where I was guided to start to learn about the North Nodes, which is about our sole purpose. So I'm going to read you this for Pisces North Node. Pisces North Node people are always rushing around despite their incredible. Ability to focus. Their timing is a bit jagged since they are usually trying to do too many things in too few hours. This is why they can have a problem being on time. Although generally they are punctual because it's one of the social rules, nonetheless they frequently feel they are not. There are not enough hours in the day. The resolution for this dilemma is in slowing down until they match the rate of the flow. The timings, the timing of life's natural unfolding. The universal flow has its own timing, frequency, and speed. When one is in alignment with it, there is a natural ease to life. Events seem to occur simultaneously with the time one is prepared to handle them, and there are fewer rough edges when one walks in the rhythm of its heartbeat. Thus, by slowing down and doing less, Pisces North No people can accomplish more. When the frequency they are emitting doesn't match the frequency of the flow because they are operating at such a frantic pace, things around them start glitching. These folks actually overshoot the situation, then suddenly come to a brick wall and wonder, why can't I get things done? 
When they meet this type of resistance, the best thing is to slow down. This allows other people or new ideas to come in to help to help them. By slowing down, they come into sync with the other parts of their universe. Their frequency aligns with what's going on around them, and they become part of the flow. So that was really synchronistic with the, the moon today. Um, I hope you join me. I'm going to do a full purpose reading with these cards, where, you're, where you've been, where you're at, where you're going. Just a quick reading. And get you some advice from the Starseed Oracle. Okay, thanks. Okay, so this is a quick Pisces North Node Oracle reading. These are the dates. For those born on these dates, you will have Pisces North Node and Western Astrology. You can find your North Node on your birth chart. Let's get started. So I'm going to use the Life Purpose Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. And this is going to be quick. And the Starseed Oracle by Rebecca Campbell and Danielle Noah. Some stuff out of the way. Pisces North Moon. These are just general cards. I'll get three cards. Cool. Bubble. I usually don't read these, but when they fall, it means something, so we'll talk about that. Okay, Pisces North Node. So Pisces North Node is about your imagination, and it's also a very healing, spiritual sign. Um, you also might be create very creative. So, where you've been, the answer that you're seeking involves going to school. So, perhaps you've been thinking about going to school and haven't taken the steps to do it, or you are doing it. The angels say that the answer you are seeking involves going to school. So, that's where you've been. Where you're at now is your life purpose involves traveling. So you might be traveling or be considering traveling soon or by February. This is for the month or until the next next time the moon is in Pisces. And the eclipse will be in March for the moon. It's, I think, just a partial lunar eclipse. Or no, is it a full? Well, I'll have to look again. but. I will keep you up to date on that. So, um, you might not know it, but your life purpose involves traveling. Now, well, this is one I dropped, so I always take that as an omen that something you need to think about or you're dropping the ball on. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with words you write. So this is definitely about Pisces North, North Node. It's being creative with healing. Yeah. And teaching, I always see Pisces as um, the Jesus fish. So teaching is definitely, if you are Christian or believe in Christ consciousness, this may be um, something that you're aware of and you might be dropping the ball. But you might be also be an entertainer, an actor, writer, director. So this is something. Definitely, we're thinking about where you're going. Uh, the angels are telling you to study. Reading, research, and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. 
So you see the owl it's about being wise. Intelligence is part, part of it. Really making the effort to um, be a seeker. Seeking. Um, it's definitely part of my my purpose as well. My my um, nodes are in Capricorn, so those are some things to think about for Pisces today. Pisces North Node and Aries North Node as well. I suggest that you follow both. That's two. I should shuffle birds too. We'll just get one card for advice from the Star Seed Oracle. If you do resonate with being a Star Seed, which most of us are, let's just watch this channel. Okay, perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out, common ground. So it's all about perspective and your soul's purpose. Yeah, I was thinking about perspective today too, about teaching or helping more about my knowing of the galactic calendar. So let's read perspective. Let me find it in the book. Okay, take a step back away and look at the bigger picture of your life. Step away from the blinkered, blinkered vision and reactive frame of mind of me against them. Change your perspective. Shift your point of view and zoom out, out, out. We are but a speck of dust in the universe, yet we think everything resolves around, revolves around us. We see the planet as ours to own and conquer, pillaging the land and setting ourselves up for the eventual extinction. We build fences, walls, and creative invisible borders and, invis and creative invisible borders. Mother Earth doesn't need us to survive, but we need her. It's time to wake up. A new perspective is urgently needed. We've become so lost in our individual experience that we don't realize that, mo that most of the things that, we keep that keep us awake at night are actually distractions. We're wasting our precious time and resources fighting each other when we should be coming together to heal what's been severed. This moment is a breath in the timeline of your life. This life is a fleeting moment uh, in the tapestry of your soul's experience. Your soul's experience is a flash in the timeline of the unknown of the known universe. And the known universe is a grain of sand in the unknown universe. Take a moment to see the bigger picture, to find common ground, to find deep compassion in your heart, to gain a greater perspective of humanity in this fleeting moment in the timeline of your soul's existence, in the timeline of all that is, was, and ever will be. Star soul, star seed soul inquiry. How are you being called to change your perspective? So maybe your perspective on how you see your soul on this earth and how it relates to your purpose. Because we all have purpose. And that's what I hope to, uh, to help people with. Again, thanks for watching Star Season Star Breeds here on TikTok and social media. Peace, love, and light.